Elizabeth Street, little Italy. Hangs with his pals, yeah, that's where he'll be. It's Vinny, a friend of mine. Stand up guy from the Lower East Side. Take it from me, he's one of a kind. It's Vinny, Velotar. Welcome to Tell It Like It Is and to my TV audience and my guests at the show here. Yes. Oh, everybody just Everyone. so beautiful. Hello, Mariana. Hi, Vincenzo. Hello, How my are baby. you? My baby. <laughs> Love her. Such a good girl. My host, Mariana. Uh, anyway, um, you know, I, I, I mentioned something last week. You know, I'm, I'm glad now that it's the weather's much colder because now they can't do that stuff and the cowboy can't be walking around in his underwear and his weather or the topless girls, good. There's, there, it's very inappropriate. They should go to the beach with that stuff. You know, not in Times Square. You know, I, I know that if I had a little girl, I wouldn't want her to see a guy in his underwear. Or if the tourists bring a little boy, why should he see a naked girl? Well, not naked, a topless girl. That kid's gonna grow up to be a pervert. He'll tell his girlfriend at 14 or 15, hey, let me see what you got. And if she <laughs> says no, there's gonna be a problem. You know, I don't know. I, it's just not the right thing to do. And they're walking around right next to Mickey Mouse and Donald Duck. They have all these cartoon. I know. <laughs> I mean, all these people dressed up in these really cute costumes, and then the, you I have gotta find naked a way to people. Get out it's there interesting. And make some money. I wonder if they're paying taxes because these waiters and waitresses that are out there, you know, they bust in their hump, fifty cent tips, a dollar tip, two dollar tips, and they have to declare their tips. They're out there. Who knows if? They're paying taxes with this money or whatever, you know? Who, is anybody keeping track? You know, and they gotta be making a lot of money. Because, uh, give it a low ball, 200 a day. That's a thousand a week. If they're working five days, to come home with a thousand, you gotta make like 16, 1700. You know, you guys know that, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> not, not that they make that much, they make more. Don't worry, I, Vinny, Vinny yeah. knows, Vinny knows. You know, I talk to all you all the time. But anyway, um, we have, again, from last week, um, not all, they, they haven't left because this is, uh, <laughs> it's, you know, they won't give they me an hour show. They so much that they, they decided no, to stay for right, the they have, because this is a half-hour show, and this one's a half-hour show. They won't give me an hour show, a full hour. And I could get it, but then I'm, I'm seeing it like, Two o'clock in the morning, or uh, one o'clock in the afternoon. Who's watching me? The little cokeheads that are watching me that time of the night. You know what I mean? I want, I want, I want to be. You know, I, I'm on prime time over here at night, Saturday night. This is what Seven I want. Seven o'clock, yes. And I can't get a full hour over there. Uh, but one of these days, you want to know something? Somebody else is going to pick up this show for me, and then I'm going to have you back an hour show. It'll look a lot different. And Mariana will be with me. Hi, huh, Mariana. <laughs> yeah. Of course. I'm not letting her go. And uh, anyway, but we have this group again tonight. We do. They were here last week. We do. Please, would you give them a nice hand? I love these guys. The, the fabulous Supreme. All right. All right. At least they came up with something to say, right? <laughs>
Changed the bits since last week. No, we haven't. I know. We stayed in, even in the same outfits and everything. I, I even took the same outfit <laughs> yeah. on, too. I don't want to change. It's good to be back with you again. Oh, thank you so thank much. You thank you so, so much for joining us. You know, once again. Before we get started, I just want to uh, just mention that I have a friend of mine in the audience. His name is Anthony Avetti. He's also a singer. And I just want everyone to look at his face because I'm going to bring him on the show uh, with his group. He has a a oh. singing group. Ah. Not, not uh, you know, as soon as I can. Anthony, where are you? Right Come here, over right just here. for a minute, please. Oh, Anthony. I just want, this is Anthony and Betty. I'll lie, my brother. Hi. You know? Hey, how are you? Give him a nice day. You know? All right. Hello, and, guys. Uh, Hi, Anthony. And Anthony. And I will soon bring you up with your boot, with your group again. No I had him there once before. No Thank you so much. Wonderful. Thank you. Thank you, Thank you for joining us tonight. Then we, nice then in the audience, we also have my agent, my publicist, my manager, Eric Hoover. Where is he, my boy? I think he's in the back talking. He's, uh, <laughs> he's not even watching the know. show right now. I don't know. He took, <laughs> I don't know. I'm not answering questions. No. He he's was looking at a new deal for you. That's exactly. What he said. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. Wow. So now I want to talk just a little bit more about these albums. Now this is your new album. Do we have it on? T Richard, could you get a close up of this? We got it. We got it. He got what it. What do you say? He got, got it. it. Yes. Got it. Oh, okay. That was fast. All right. And um, the CDs. Um, a commemoration of Frank Sinatra's 100th birthday. He would have been 100 years old this December. This December, um, what, 12th or something? Uh, or 7th? 12th, 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 yeah, the 12th. 12th. And uh, we uh, worked long and hard on this, but we wanted to do it different from any other concept album that commemorates Mr. Frank Sinatra. Right. 
This is a, a vocal group's approach to some of his great, great songs. And uh, it was a challenge because our harmonies have been known, we've been known for our harmonies, and we wanted to put it to the test. And we had such a great time doing this CD, and it's met with such great, great response. I gotta tell you this one little story. Mm. If you know um, Tim Hauser from the Manhattan Transfer, he unfortunately passed away uh, late last year, early this year, late last year. And while we were uh, making this CD, he was interested in the project. And he said, Tony, send me some cuts as we were recording it. Yeah. And I'll never forget what he told us. He said, Tony, this is Grammy material. And I still get the chills. We still get the chills thinking about that <laughs> because Tim Hauser is a legend. And mm. uh, we uh, unfortunately lost him way too young. But um, it's, it's been a labor of love. And, and as I said, it's been met with a lot of critical uh, appreciation. We're grateful for that, really grateful. And it has been submitted for a Grammy, you know? Yes, it has. Yes. It has. Yes. 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 It's been oh submitted. My gosh. So all of you folks who are yes, all Grammy, of us. all of you who are voting members of the Grammys, we want you to, we're in that exclusive category called pop music, but it's traditional pop mm. music, which hopefully we're the only contestants. <laughs> <laughs> have any one of you no, ever met Sinatra in person? No, I have no, not. I've never. No. I've None seen him perform no. in person. You've seen him in person, perform, yeah. but you never actually met him. No, no. never no. met him. No, I have. Actually, and uh, he asked me, my, well, a few times, and I met him down in Miami Beach years ago, uh -huh. and uh, he said, what's your name? I said, Vinny, on the way out. He said, hey, Benny, thank you so much. So I didn't say nothing, because he gave me a $100 tip on the way in and a $100 tip on the way out. So I left it alone. Then when I seen him at Carnegie Hall, he recognized me. He was outside. Because where do I know you from? I said, <laughs> down in Miami Beach. You know, I used to work down uh -huh. there. He says, uh, what's your name? Again? Benny, right? I said, it's Vinny. He goes, what are you, <laughs> correcting me? Oh. <laughs> Actually, the, I, is the story about didn't he save your life once? I think it was down in Miami where these thugs outside this club were beating you up badly. Yeah. And he came over to them and he said, okay, that's enough. Who said that? It was saving you. You don't remember that story, huh? No. He doesn't remember that story. <laughs> what Frank said that to you? Yeah, Frank. Yes. <laughs> no. Listen, ba -dumpa. that never happened. Ba no? No. Oh, no. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, maybe it was you beating up somebody. That, that's that's oh. a whole different <laughs> ballgame then. You know? But uh, when, the, when he called me Benny in front of, in Carnegie <laughs> Hall, I said, you know, if this guy keeps giving me hundreds, he can call me Barbara if he wants. <laughs> and I don't care. But anyway, uh, I'm just so happy. We got such a great audience we again do. tonight. We do. And, um, uh, and I, I just can't think. You know, it's just so nice to see you all. I talk to you on the phone, but I like to see in and Put my arms around you and take pictures. We like the same thing, but we do because we want to see her. Yes, so that's right. exactly. Well, there you see, go. they're speaking Ma the truth. Mar Mar Mariana's a good girl. It's I'm right. a little curious, though, yeah. speaking of your harmonies, because they're so intricate, mm -hmm. how, I know you guys have been together for so long, but how often do you rehearse? Uh, practically continue? never. Practically never. Seriously, when we come up with new material, yes. we obviously rehearse that and we make sure we've got it down. But I think because we've been together so long, uh, and it, it's it's actually true, they say this about husbands and wives, how they sometimes they think alike or do mm -hmm. the same things. When we're on stage, our breathing and our enunciation, it just comes out as one in unity because we're so used to each other's voices and uh, the way we sing, mm. that uh, it gives us a heads up. So we don't really rehearse unless something needs a little cleaning up, which is pretty rare. A little fine tuning. A little fine tuning. <laughs> but I can even see the glances at each other. Like I saw Tommy looking at Tony and making sure that everything was going according to plan. Like just even, you well, always he, are he, sensing each other. He's, which he's, is very, he's very good to look at. I mean, he's, <laughs> he's very easy on the eyes. And sometimes I need a good laugh, so I look at him. So, oh, I did see you <laughs> laughing a couple of times too. And how? What about the choreography? That comes choreography? naturally. Yeah. Naturally. Yeah. naturally. That was, no, but all of you were doing very, no. very synchronized. No. Jimmy's the dancer. Okay. Phil, I don't know how he does what he does. But there were hand movements as but, a dancer. Uh, I was I, seeing I, some choreography I'm fortunate there. if I don't step on my own feet sometimes. <laughs> so um, it, it comes <laughs> natural to us yeah. when we do something. I didn't see any you song dance tonight. We, pardon? Yeah, I didn't see you dance that because normally you don't do the splits anymore, but now you go from one side of the stage to the other. There's well, that's only when stage. I do it. It's a small <laughs> stage. When Say I what? Do it. Tonight is a small stage. Small stage. Oh, okay. On a big stage, oh, okay. it's a different yeah. story. Has to be a little longer. <laughs> well, right. he needs room. <clears throat> Who's been with the, the, this group the longest? Phil. This group, Phil. Phil. Yeah. Phil 19. has 28 oh, years. You're a teenager. 28 years. You're a teenager when you started. But it, and I was the last lead singer to perform with the original group. 
back in the 70s. Okay. Ah. Okay. The last uh, lead singer to sing with the original members. Right. Yeah. Original um, members, right. It's, it's, it's quite, it's quite a, an accomplishment. This guy is Salvato. Salvato. What was he? He used to be one of the... Uh, yeah, he's still, he's still around. <coughs> I know he's still around. He's yeah. a... Ah. Whatever. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't like him. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. I like him. We like him. Yeah. Hey, yeah, great we, guy. Yeah. Like you said, don't talk politics. Okay. Oh, that was politics? He's, I won't get into it. Neither will we. Yeah. Okay. Moving on. The only thing with <laughs> politics I could tell you that comes to mind, <coughs> Mariana, is every time we were up there, and looking over at her, okay, I kept thinking of those silly Washington politicians. <coughs> they don't know anything, folks. This is a stimulus package. <laughs> well right then, <laughs> look at wow. that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, I'm that's, that's all, that's my only political statement. There you go. <laughs> Tony's the shy one in the group. Yes, right? as we can yeah. see, yes. <laughs> Tommy can't talk, because uh, we. that's another story. Well, I'm, yeah, I've been married forever, so. Uh, you know, I, mean, I, I didn't say I, you I did. did say she's a very pretty young lady. I could say, say that? that, sure. But how long have you been married for? Oh, let's see. <laughs> uh, well, tw well, the first wife was 20 years, and now the second <laughs> wife uh, just made 20 years. So wow. I'm looking for another one to, to start another, for another 20 one. years. No, no, I'm only kidding. I'm very happily married. When you find, I love find my two. wife. You. She's Call my me. best friend. Nah. Oh, good for you. Yes. I, I'm happy where I am. Vinny tries to, you know... Yeah, how's your wrist? He, we he can't tries talk to get right my, now. That's we won't a get into thing. that. Yeah. Yeah, right. Oh, wow. And now, uh, Phil, you're still killing ducks outside your house. <laughs> killing ducks? Yeah. Well, he, has, he lives in a place I where he's old. The, the what? I, I chase them away. They wake me up. In the you should get them and bring them down to Chinatown. They have those ducks <laughs> oh. hanging in a window. Oh, my God. You know, God, roasted yeah. ducks. Because they, they, he said, he lives, what do you live, right near the water, right? I live right near a river. And, the, and, and uh, when there's mating season for the ducks, yeah. it's all hell breaks loose. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. Well, you can't get rid of them. I chase them away. How? Got a gun? No, no, no. No? No. I got a, a foghorn, I squirt. Oh. Uh, an air gun. You know, it's you know what air you air should horn. get? It's, it's a weapon that they can't, they can't bother you with. Get a water pistol. That doesn't leak and put Clorox in it and shoot them. Oh no, I don't, don't want to hurt them. You don't want to hurt them. They're having fun. They're having sex. They're playing. You know, <laughs> they just wake me up early in the morning. Do you do, do you eat duck sometimes? No, no, no. I'm a vegetarian. Oh, that's right. That's, that's yeah. right. Anybody else eat duck? Uh, I, silently. I, what? I have. I have too, <clears throat> but not down in Chinatown. <laughs> that's another story. That's another story. That's right. They're all other stories. Right. Um, now, let's see, what else? There was some, another question I was going to ask you. I can't think of it right now. It happens when you get old. It does. Say what? It happens That's when right. you get old. That, There's two yeah. things that happen. Yeah, thank you. Thank two you. Things happen you when I'm you not get... losing it. I already lost it. All of us have. There's two things that happen when you get old. First yeah. thing is you lose your memory. Yeah. And the second thing is... Um, uh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, Exhibit A. Uh, that reminds me of something. There used to be the stuff on TV you used to call Focus Factor. That was the name what? of it. What's your language? This is studio uh, what do I do? What do I it's called Focus Factor. If you buy one jar, you get another one oh, free. Yes, yeah, do you remember that yes, one? Yes, yes. Okay. Yeah. And it was like 1995, yeah. and uh, a, a few friends of mine bought one. One in Jersey and one up uh, in uh, upstate New York. One guy now has a problem peeing, and the other one forgets to take the medicine. How good could that possibly be? Oh it's supposed goodness. to be helping your memory. And then the guy wanted to give me the second job. I said, I got enough problems. What do I want that for? You know? Focus factor. What? Focus factor. Yeah, focus, focus factor. factor. Don't buy it. No, I can't even say it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. Now, let me see. What else? Tommy, we have a picture of uh, you and I near that Corvette, a red Corvette. Yes, we do. Do we still we have do. that? Sure. You, don't you have a copy? No. Uh -oh. I'm sorry about that. No. Uh oh. I don't no. have a Vinnie Vella mug either. Yeah, and we're missing, huh? by the yeah, way. We one. need a new so mug. We're even. <laughs> what? We need to get new mugs. <laughs> you need to have a mug After the show, you can have this one. If you <laughs> I can have that one? Yeah. Really? Oh. You can really. Oh. I'm going to get you the picture. Uh, I'm going to get you the picture. Because we're going to get new ones that are going to say Vinnie and Mariana okay, show. Okay, I'm going to take that one. Thank you so much. Vinnie Vella show. You can have that one. Matches my There's a drop of water in there, but you get rid of that. You know? You know, I'm going to get a little sentimental right now. 
I really am curious to know how it feels to have lived your dream for so long. Because Tommy and I were talking about this, about you know, living out your dream, pursuing your dream, how you have all these struggles and you, you're always wishing to make it, but knowing that all of you have made it and have done this for so long, how does it feel? It, it feels wonderful. The thing, uh, as a matter of fact, we do a, a song in our show mm. called What I Did for Love and preface it by saying when we were youngsters, 16, 17 years old, singing on street corners like everybody else yes. for fun, uh, never realizing that 50 plus years later we'd be doing this as for a living, mm. that's the plus side. The, the negative side is that in that whole evolution, yeah. there are no givens. There's a lot of rejection. You're a performer, mm -hmm. you know. And uh, when you do reach some modicum of success, you're grateful for it. And when people ask you, well, how could you do it? How'd you do it? The song that we perform is from a chorus line. It's called What I Did For Love. It's not a romantic love song. It mm -hmm. has to do with what performers like you and we and musicians, singers, dancers, and whatever, why we go into this thing called show business. It's for the love of performing and giving of ourselves to people. Mm -hmm. uh, what we did for love. So. Yes. Yeah. Not money, because the money, someday the money's going to come. <laughs> but it's not about oh. that. Well, it's I not about that. It's never too. about that. There you go. Yeah, I love that It's one. not like I walk around and say, oh, I'm so happy. I'm, I mean, no, I've made it. Right. I've made oh, it all day long. Oh. I'm kissing myself. You know what I mean? I'm so lucky to be here. Look you know, you, know, you really have to. It's a, a you terrific know, business to be in now. Oh, the best. It's a difficult business. It it's a, a very, very difficult, difficult business. business. <laughs> but, you know, you really have to stop and, and count your blessings and, and, and take a, a breath of fresh air and, and think about what you've done. And, yeah. and, and I guess, you know, as long as you're happy with uh, who you're with and what you're doing, I mean, that's that's really it, you know? Now, you've all had you other gotta be jobs happy. besides uh, singing. I know you, you work a job with construction. I have a full-time job uh, with the town. You do websites or something? Uh, no, I mean, I have a marketing and management degree from St. John's University mm. a gazillion years ago, but... I never, quote unquote, used it because okay. I was always involved in music. Yes. Um, some years ago, I did involve myself with programming, uh, uh, computer programming, but that was self-taught stuff, which I did for about. So you're not doing seven, that anymore. No, then. no, no. Dupree's is full time for me. Dupree. Then you got Dr. Spinelli. Well, I was an optician. Well, yeah. same thing. Doctor. Many years, <laughs> and uh, they right. always had two jobs. And Phil. For many years. Phil's a bank manager. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's another story. We won't get into that either. Oh, well, that's, that's wonderful. We, we, we got only the have finger. a few. Yes, we, we do. We got the finger again. You know, w one time, you know what they did? He used to come in the dark and give me the finger. The first time he did that, I thought he was doing this to me. Really? You know? Oh, you just did that to everybody. I know. <laughs> Watching this right know, now, but, but great. <laughs> uh, but anyway, we only have, again, just a short time left. So could I get you well no more appropriate song than the song that started it all off for the for the original guys back mm. in 1962 you belong to me has lasted 50 plus oh, years man. and uh, no. it's it's the way we've always ended a show by saying it's the way the Dupree's always say thank you from the bottom of our hearts and for the last 50 years and if God's listening for mm. the next 50 years mm -hmm. that song will sound like this you guys oh. belong to me though thank yes, you all right. thank all of you thank Gemini's you to the Dupree's all right, all right. Woo! Man. 
Tom! 